eight, seven, six, five. Emily has been competing four, in the autonomous three, snowplow competition two, for nine one. years now. Um, and to find out that I was part of the team that had won for the first time in the history of us competing and the history of the competition, this is Dunwoody's first win. Um, it makes me really happy to know that I was able to be a part of this. The Wendigo, um, it's, it's this evil creature from Native American folklore. Um, so with our older platform, the Snow Devil, you know, that's, you know, it's a snow devil. So when we're looking for things to name the new platform, we're kind of going with, you know, snow devil, something evil. And uh, for kind of snow devil related things, there's like Bumble which isn't very scary. And then there's like, you know, the Wendigo is another option. So we chose Wendigo because it's a lot more scary. It's like a uh, carnivorous, I mean, eats human beings, like super spooky looking. <laughs> so that's why we chose that one. For the two by 10, this was the last run of the day. Um, it was a really cold day, super windy next to the lake. And when we got up to the line, you know, the person that had ran before us, they were having control system issues, so their run didn't go very well. So all we had to do is plow 60% of the snow to win. Well, when we got, we got up there, we got lined up, and when we hit our start button, nothing happened. Um, so, we, you know, we opened it up and we were trying to see what was going on. Well, this new controller board, it's called an altitude editing reference system. It was brand new this year. You know, it was just a last minute solution um, because we weren't able to implement our full uh, navigation strategy for this year. Um, so we hadn't done a whole lot of testing with this in cold weather. Um, and it actually was failing to boot up. I had never done this before. It was completely untested. Like when I set my laptop on it, it was like executing code directly from my laptop, sitting on the back of the robot while it was going, which is usually a big no-no. <laughs> so it was, you know, I was really hoping for the best because like I, I was, I modified a system to do something that it was never intended to do. You know, the safety system was never intended to control the robot. It was intended to stop the robot. And that's all it was. So I didn't have any of the navigation hooks into that. So there wasn't, it, it, it was supposed to be completely independent of the control system. So the safety system was never supposed to actually take control. So I had to modify it to do some things that it wasn't supposed to be doing. Um, and that took a little bit of work on the fly, but I was, I'm really glad I was able to get it working. I mean, we had such a small amount of time to get this done. And, you know, usually code changes are a you know weak process, not a five minute on the field while the clock's ticking down at the competition. 